Oh. Ah. oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. I've just been cutting the grass, but it's going to take forever because the lawnmower's broken and I can't find Small. Have you seen him? Small? Small? Hey, why don't you shout with me? One, two, three, Small! Oh, I can't find Small. I think he's lost. Oh, Whoa. oh hello, Ben. What's the matter? Oh, there you are. I was worried. Whatever are you doing? Oh, I'm just having a bit of a rest after all that grass cutting. All that grass cutting? Oh, yes. Look. One blade of grass. Is that all you've done? One blade of grass? Well, it might be one blade of grass to you, my friend, but to me it's like a tree. We'll have a lawn up to our ears in no time at this rate. Well, maybe you shouldn't have broken the lawnmower. Well, I didn't break the lawnmower. It just got old. That's all, Small. <coughs> Aha! Come on. Customer, Small. I'm on my way. And who's our customer today, Small? You'll never guess. It's Old MacDonald! Old MacDonald? You know Ben, the farmer from the farm down the road. He keeps chickens and pigs and the most beautiful brown horse ever. Well, we'd better make something a bit special for him then. Yes. But what? Something to do with animals. Moo! <laughs> Can you guess which animal I am? A cow! Shh, Small, I'm trying to think. Moo! Oink, oink! Go, go, do, do, do. What on earth are you doing, Small? I'm making farm animal noises, Ben. Farms are full of animals. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was going for a walk when I heard a lot of noise. It was a farmyard full of howling animals. They were neighing and mooing and barring and barking and grunting and meowing. It was the most dreadful noise I had ever heard. I just had to go and find out what the problem was. The horse told me that everyone on the farm was really, really hungry because the farmer hadn't fed them that morning. Not all the animals were there though. The chickens were missing. So I went to see if I could find them. But did I get a big surprise when I got to the chicken coop? All the hens were busy clucking and fussing round the cockerel. The poor cockerel was lying in bed looking really ill. He'd lost his voice. All he could say was, Ugh, 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 instead of, cock a doo doo How terrible! A cockerel without a cock a doo doo I soon realised what the problem was. The farmer and his wife were still fast asleep. No wonder the farmer hadn't woken up. You see, it's the cockerel's job to wake the farmer up. Every day, at dawn, the cockerel stands on top of the chicken house and sings his wake-up call as loud as he can. cock a doo 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 cock a doo 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 Then the farmer wakes up and knows it's time to feed all the animals. But because the cockerel had lost his voice, the farmer hadn't woken up. That's when I did my famous cockerel impression. cock a doo 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 a doo 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 That soon woke them up. At last the animals would be fed. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! cock a doo 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 <laughs> Way! I'm back, Ben! There we go. The farmer and his wife rushed out of bed, and soon they'd fed all the animals. I bet you know exactly what to cook for old MacDonald, then. Oh, 
I've forgotten about that. Let's see. It can't be that difficult. Oh, I know something that might help us. It's a song about our customer, Old MacDonald. That's sure to help us. Will you join in? Goody, I know this one too. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some chicks, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here a oink, there a oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, I love that song, Ben. Me too. There are so many things that come from a farm, aren't there? Yeah. But we have to think of something for old MacDonald in our cafe. But what? <gasps> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Aha! Uh -huh. Look! The perfect thing! Farmyard smoothies. Mmm, milky drinks that look like animals. Whoopee! Hooray! You read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need a banana. OK. Banana. Honey. That's honey, not bunny, Ben. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Honey. <laughs> Yoghurt. And most important of all, milk. Yoghurt and, um oh. Are we out of milk? I'm afraid so. Oh, well, that scrambled our plans. What are we going to do now, Small? We can't make smoothies without milk. Not to worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Oh, Small, you're the poppin' popcorn, and I'll get everything ready. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Hey, why don't you come along too? Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Look at the lovely green grass and, oh, what's that? Something's eating the grass. It's a cow. There's lots of black and white cows. Moo! 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 <laughs> Here comes the farmer on his tractor. He's rounding up the cows because twice a day they have to be milked. Ah, moo to you too! This is the milking parlour. Come on, in you go! The farmer attaches suction pipes to the cow's udders.
The milk is taken from the cow. Wow, look at all that milk. The milk then goes to a factory where it's heated and cooled and put into cartons. At home, we keep milk in the fridge so it stays fresh. Milk is tasty and very good for you. I like to drink milk too, or have it on my cereal at breakfast. I'd better get some milk back to the cafe. See you later. There's a train. There we are, all set and ready to go. All we need now is the milk. Way! I'm back, Ben. I've brought the milk fresh from the farm. Woohoo! Oh, nice and creamy. Lovely. We're all ready, so take a look and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember what we need for farmyard smoothies? You do? There was a banana. One sliced. Honey. One teaspoon. Yogurt. One tablespoon. And last of all, milk. One cup. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now mash up the banana with a fork. In it goes. There we are. Oh, mash it up. Mash, 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 mash. I like this bit. Oh, there we go. Now we're making a drink to remind old MacDonald of his farm. It's a yellow chip drink. There we go. Now we also need to make a paper head and tail for the drink. And my little chum here can take care of that. Okie dokie! <laughs> What noises do chicks make? I know. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> OK. Now, to our mashed banana, we add our yoghurt. In it goes. Lovely. Our honey. There we are. Make it nice and sweet. All that in. And then finally, we put in the milk. And then mix it all together to make a lovely thick banana drink. Mm, mix it up, mix it up. We just finished popping the rest into a glass. Oh, very nice. Doesn't that look good? Our drink's just about ready for Small's head and tail decoration. Small, how's this chick's face coming along? That's the face done. Now for the tail. Hoo hoo, yes, the tail. Hoo hoo. How is the tail? Cluck, 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 cluck. 
I've finished and I've stuck some tape on the back. Cluck, 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 cluck. Thank you, Small. On we go. Now I just need a straw, please, Small. Here you go, Ben. Oh, thank you. And there we are. One lovely chick drink. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Now, if you want to make a pink piggy smoothie, oink, 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 all you have to do is add strawberries instead of bananas. Come on, Ben. We'd better get that chick drink off to old MacDonald. It looks so good. Right-o. One farmyard smoothie coming through. Oh, there. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean up and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! And what's this? Old MacDonald's left us a note, Small. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, The best smoothie I've ever tasted! And what brilliant heads and tails! <laughs> Just like being back on the farm. He likes it! He really likes it! And there's something else, Small. Well, what? It says, I've heard you were having problems with your lawnmower, so as a little thank you, I've left you something to cut the grass for you. Something to cut the grass? <gasps> a lawnmower? <laughs> oh, my small. Old oh, McDonald's left us a note and a goat. A goat? Look at this small. Her name's Alice. And she'll have your lawn looking lovely in no time. Well, mash my potatoes. If that doesn't beat everything, our very own goat. See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? That funny noise? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Ben, what have you got on? Are you going swimming? Swimming? What? This is for swimming. Oh, no. I found all this stuff in the dressing up box. <laughs> I was trying to dress up like a monster. <laughs> but I'm not going swimming, no. Why? What's wrong with swimming? Oh, well, I'm afraid of the water. I can't swim. I'm scared I might sink. Oh, don't worry, Ben. I'll teach you to swim. It's fun. Uh, well, the thing is, I think I've got something really important to do later, Small. <coughs> We've got a customer. Well, we'd better get cooking, but I'm not going to forget about your swimming lesson. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's in our cafe today, Small? I'll give you a clue. She's got two flippers and she's very good at swimming. Not a dolphin. No, Ben. She didn't swim here. She walked. Two flippers to swim, but she walked here? It's a little penguin. It's Penny the penguin. Hello, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's hungry. Yes, she is a little bit hungry, but that's what also means she's thirsty. Now I'm even more confused. I think it's time to look in my book. We 
we need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Oh, yes. My holiday to the very cold South Pole. Ooh. The first thing I saw when I got there was a really unusual looking bird. She was all brown and fluffy with little short wings. And she didn't hop like a bird. She sort of ran. I asked her what kind of bird she was, but she didn't know. All she knew was her name, Penny. She said she couldn't even fly, and she was very lonely because there were no other birds like her anywhere. First I helped by making a little net and catching Penny some fish for her dinner. Then it started snowing, and poor little Penny was cold, so I looked in my holiday suitcase and found my spare coat. She wasn't hungry or cold anymore, but she was still lonely, so we set off across the ice to see if we could find Penny's friends. We searched for weeks and weeks, and Penny was growing bigger and bigger, but we still couldn't find any birds that looked like Penny. Then, one day, we came across lots and lots of beautiful king penguins. It wasn't until Penny took off her coat that she realised she had grown up. She was a king penguin too! Then it dawned on me. When I first met Penny, she had been a baby penguin. That's why her feathers had been brown and fluffy. The other penguins were very proud of her. They taught her how to fish so she wasn't hungry. She had grown up feathers so she wasn't cold anymore. And with all her new friends, she definitely wasn't lonely. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. What an amazing story! And it's given me a really good idea. Way! What's that, Ben? Why, fish, of course. Well, we haven't got any, Ben. Oh, haven't we? But penguins eat fish all the time. I think it would be really nice to cook something else for her. OK, what, though? Hmm, I don't know. book. Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Look at this one, Ben. Iceberg slosh. Penny the penguin will feel right at home. There are loads of icebergs where penguins live. Iceberg slush it is, then. Come on, Small. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need fruit. OK. Over we go, in the fridge. Fruit, strawberries, raspberries. Orange juice. Orange juice, got it. Lemonade. Oh, lovely fizzy lemonade, yeah. Lemon. Over in the fruit bowl, got the lemon. Sugar. Yep, sugar. And water. I can get that from the tap. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. It's called iceberg slush, but where do we get the ice from? We made that ourselves in the freezer, Ben. Oh, yeah, silly me. I've just remembered something. Did you know you can make models out of ice? They're called sculptures. Really? How do you do that? I don't know. Hey, why don't you whiz off and find out, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. wonder it's cold. That's a big block of ice. Ice is made from water that has been put into a freezer. 
Because it's so cold in the freezer, the water turns into ice. Ooh, he's going to use his tools to turn the ice into a shape. Can you guess what it's going to be? It's got a head and a beak. Oh, that tool is being used to mark its wing. I think it's going to be a bird that lives in the cold. Can you guess? The bird needs to have two eyes. That's one. And that's two. Oh, look, it's a penguin. A penguin that lives in the cold. Oh, I'd better get back to the warm cafe. Way! <laughs> I'm back. Hello there. Did you see the ice being carved? I certainly did. It was fantastic. First they froze some water into a big block of ice and then they carved it into a shape of a penguin, just like Penny. Sounds amazing. Did you bring some ice back for me? Yes, I did, Ben. Now, where is it? I put it in my pocket. Oh. Oh, what? Here it is. But that's just a handkerchief, Small. Yes, but... The ice has melted, Ben. Oh, never mind, Small. Let's make some iceberg slush for Penny the Penguin. Let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to iceberg slush? You do? There were... Strawberries. Three. Chopped. Raspberries. A handful. Orange juice. One cup. Lemonade. One cup. Lemon. A quarter. Sugar. Two tablespoons. And water. Plenty of water for our ice cubes. Whoopee! Let's get started! For this recipe, we don't need the cooker. We do all our cooking in the freezer. Yes, instead of cooking, we're freezing. <laughs> hey, we'll need two ice cube trays. Here we are. Oh, look small. This one's still got an ice cube in it. <laughs> oh, careful, Ben. Oh, sorry, small. <laughs> Now, into one of these ice cube trays, I'm going to pour the orange juice. And I've already put it from the cup into a small jug to make it easier to pour. So, in we go. All the way along. And pop them straight into the freezer. Over we go. There we are. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the freezer is cold, cold, cold. <laughs> Soon, we'll have orange juice ice cubes. What do you think of that, Small? That was great! Uh, oh! Now, in this next ice cube tray, I'm going to start to make the fruit ice cubes. So, I'll put the raspberries along here. In they go. Very nice. Oh, this is going to be very fruity. There we go. That should do. And I'll put the strawberries along the other side. 
nice and chopped up so I can put a few in each. There we go. Wow! And that one. Great. And then we can top them up with the water. So the same again. Fill them up all the way along. Brilliant! And then straight into the freezer with these as well. This ice cube's really slidey! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. Whilst we're waiting for the ice cubes to freeze, we can prepare the cup. So, I'm going to take the lemon and wipe it all the way around the rim of this cup. There it goes. All the way around to make it all wet and sticky. That's very good. And then we can take the sugar and pour it out onto a plate. There it is. Great. Then we can turn the cup upside down and dip the rim into the sugar. Give it a bit of a twist. And hey presto, it sticks. Clever or what small? <laughs> I'm a penguin. <laughs> I wonder if the ice cubes are ready yet. They take a while to freeze. Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll pretend to be asleep so that the water thinks it's frozen. <laughs> Good idea, Small. Here goes. <laughs> Is it morning yet? OK, Freezer. We've been asleep for ages now. The ice cubes must be ready. Hey! There we are. Absolutely perfect. Wow, that's amazing, Ben. <laughs> it's just a little trick, Small. Huh? I put some in the freezer earlier whilst you were watching the ice sculptures so that they'd be ready in time. <laughs> OK, I'll let you off then, but I'm not going to let you off your swimming lesson, Ben. Oh, it was only a bit of fun. <laughs> Anyway, let's get on with the iceberg slush. In fact, this is the slushy part. I'm going to tip all of the orange juice ice cubes into a plastic jug or something else that won't break. So, in we go. Be very careful. There we go. And this is the fun part. I'm going to slush them up with the end of this rolling pin. Ooh. Give them a good old slush. Penguins like ice. They must be great at skating. <coughs> Woohoo! <coughs> there. That's the orange all slushy. Now, we can put it into the cup. So, I'm going to scoop it in with a spoon. That's one. And a little more, I think. There we go. And next, it's time for our fruity ice cubes. So, I'm going to take one strawberry and, I think, one raspberry. Yeah. There we go. And finally, we can top it off with the lovely fizzy lemonade. <laughs> now, I need to be careful not to spill it here, so I'm going to put it into a plastic jug. There we go. This should make it easier to pour. So, let's top it up now. In goes the lemonade. This is looking great. Perfect. And I'd like to finish it off with an umbrella and a straw. And if you want to, you can pop some orange on there. I love oranges. And hey presto, iceberg slush. What do you think, Small? That looks great, Ben. Let's get her off to Penny the Penguin before it melts. One iceberg slush coming through. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen
kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And look, Small! There's a note! Oh, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My iceberg slush was delicious! Woohoo! Here's a present to say thank you. They helped me learn to swim. Maybe they'll help you too. They're swimming armbands, Ben. Now I'm looking forward to my swimming lesson. I won't sink in these. <laughs> I'll swim just like a penguin. Come on, Small. Let's go. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>